Welcome back to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on SinCityBounty.com. We are broadcasting live from Stubo's Excellence BBW Las Vegas Winter Weekend in Vegas 2014. And we have with us the one man that we all thought that uh, uh, that Glitch should be banging. <laughs> We we all saw a picture of him and we all and separately not as a group. She showed pictures of this and we were all like, "Who is this and why are you not banging him?" I'm like, "That's my goddamn brother." <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, it would it, it, there would be problems. <laughs> there would be problems. There but would yeah, be problems. that was a funny story. It was like well, all the girls were like, "Who is this handsome and why aren't you all up in that?" And I'm like, "Oh, I feel like someone punched me in the gut." Yeah, that's kind of sick. <laughs> so that's why I have to tell you to stop dancing on me when you just randomly get drunk. <laughs> Go. Hello? Yes. Are you blood related? No. no. Then you can hit it. <laughs> you you are you are correct. <laughs> Technically, yes. I could just wail away I at mean, it. But even if you were, I, I don't know if I'd question it that much because you guys would look beautiful yeah, together. Yeah, it just it, it would just fuck up everything. It would. Christopher and I, um well, Chris, um I call him Christopher. No one else is allowed to. Only when I'm in trouble. Christopher. Um, have been friends for a very, very long time and uh, have been through a lot of shit together. He's been there for me through many, many things. Um, so I love him dearly. And I, even if, you know, I just wouldn't do it to fuck up the relationship. Yeah, yeah and no, Grams no. would be pissed. Yeah, my Grams would be really pissed. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't know about you guys. I normally don't tell my grandmother. Um, oh, well, see, there's a different story. So With Grams, we, it, nothing's off limits. Yeah. No. She knows. She would Grams look would come you, on the show and like, talk about blowjobs. I'm just saying. <laughs> Grams yeah. would look at you guys and she's like, you knocked boots, huh? <laughs> she would. She I would can just tell. Plus, I would lose a really good handyman when he's in town. You know, I give him like the honeydew list, and you know, even though it wasn't yeah. done this but last time. Listen. But wait a second. Why? Why are you assuming? So wait a minute. It would go south if you if you had sex. You guys are really good friends. Because it would. He does stuff with you around the house, but you're not gonna bang on each other. No. 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 What friends with partial benefits. No. Did you at least? Uh, with uh, maintenance. With a maintenance contract. <laughs> maintenance contract. contract. Right. Okay. Did you at least thank him for meeting BJ Day yesterday? I mean. Um, no. <laughs> why, would, why would I do that? What? <laughs> what, 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 what? Um, if a man fixes shit in your house, have you never watched porn? <laughs> if a guy fixes <laughs> shit in your house, you have to blow them. But I thought that only counted if you were like the pool boy. Or, or a handyman. Or a handyman. Do you wear a tool belt? I, I do not wear a tool belt. Can you wear a tool oh, belt? Oh, please, 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 next time. Oh, yes. Can you wear a tool belt? I will wear a tool belt Just to tool belt. cook dinner. Is that That's usually my normal facet when I come over. Yeah. So. Unless I make you pot roast, which I haven't done in a while. So. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to wear a tool belt with like a spatula and some, some Pam or some yeah. olive oil. And I'll bedazzle it. And it's all fucking yes. cozy. And it'll all happen during a new kids concert or something. Hey. What? What? Yeah. I Nerd. know it. Everything. Not Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys, new kids, any boy band. You just there's put a, me on blast on a, my show. Yes, I did. Yeah. There's a bedazzled shirt. Um, there somewhere in that house there are probably bedazzled underwear. Hey, um, <laughs> Backstreet you know Boys are coming. Went to Vegas. Went. I just <laughs> saw. Oh my God! It's part of a national tour. Avril Lavigne is opening. Let's Shut go. the fuck up. Let's Why go. are we not going to this? We're going. Oh, we need to go. Okay. So the first time I ever met Chris, and then we'll get into the real reason besides harassing him and why, you know, we're talking to him. We were um, in the pool at the Flamingo, the Flamingo Bash year, and he's talking to one of my friends at the time, and he says something about, God damn, Backstreet Boys came out with a new album, and uh, like my ears perked up, and that's how we met. I'm like, what? Seriously? <laughs> Tell me about it. And he's looking at me like, who the fuck is this broad, and why, <laughs> why does she want to know about the Backstreet Boys? <laughs> Funny story there. Anyway, my so Chris, so why are you here? I am Besides the photographer the for the event. Oh, so the name of your company? I am C Divisions dot uh, photography. Photography. www dot C Divisions dot com. So you're the guy walking around, you know, saying, "Hey, pose, take pictures." Yes, but they actually show up somewhere and not in my spank bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a cut to me. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. But do you have a spank bank? Uh, yes. With special photos. Yes, I do have a I do have a very very old spank bank. You need to take some condoms if I really do. My spank well, bank's on a screen. Would we not. find our glitz? No. Oh, no, no, no. 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 There will be, there will be no glitz there. No glitz, no glamour there. It's just uh 
that person that sucks. Well, that's too bad. It is what it is. You know. So. so no, go ahead. No, no, no. Handle it. Go. So uh, I see you have like a photo booth thing set up over here. Yes. What, uh, what, what's going on inside the There closet? is a photo booth where you can go in there and do as you wish and they uh, <laughs> print That's as you want. To say yes, you can do whatever you want to. It's a blackout curtain. I have no idea what goes on in there until it prints out. So Sierra can flash her boobs? You can do whatever you want. Can, can we go in there after we are Absolutely. There? I wish all of you... By all means. I can't flash my boobs, obviously, because, you know, Thank you. my brother. I appreciate it. <laughs> you can grab someone look. else's. You <laughs> well, can grab someone else's and you're just as fine. You know, grab someone but else's. It's okay. I can yeah. flash mine, and you will know that they're the same size. <laughs> well, you know what? For great verification, I will then say, all right. Never ask what you're getting for Christmas. <laughs> okay, so besides the event photography... Um, what else do you do? Do you do uh, individual I shoots? I do um, specialize in boudoir and live events, so I do a lot of concerts in the Bay Area. Oh, um, nice. And I do a bunch of nightclubs. I do a lot of the BBW nightclubs um, here, Ample out in Connecticut. Um, I've done uh, Stu's parties from here to San Diego to Seattle. So. Nice, nice, nice. Um, a couple years ago uh, when it was the Las Vegas Bash, yes. you, uh, you shot for that. Yeah. Yes, so, uh, <clears throat> ladies, if you're looking for a good photographer, and yes, he is good looking, but... <laughs> Hopefully that makes it easier on you. <laughs> it makes it easier on you. <laughs> Do you provide any fluffy with this <laughs> No, it's what I have you for. Are there happy endings involved in the <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> well, this is, this is when I call Glitz up and say, listen, here's some perks. You don't have anything else going on today. I'm not fixing anything, so... I need you to... I'm not fluffing girls. Well, maybe. Are they hot? See? Um, I think you will. <laughs> Come on. Jeez. Yeah, full service, wait, 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 wait. A full service job there. here. As her brother, I feel it is my duty to tell you... Yes. ...that Glitz likes to make out with our female guests. <sighs> like tongue. Wow. So, I yeah. There's a little sparkle in that eye. Do you know what else I discovered? <laughs> You know what else I've discovered lately? And what was I'm kind be? of fascinated with the furry group. I think I want to be like a, a, a glitter kitty. How would you feel about that? A glitter kitty. You could do it. Yeah. I mean, or why I not? Could, I could it, it, it would be easier, easy for you. It's an easy transition from your, you know, glitzy t-shirt that you bedazzle <laughs> on the regular. Now you can just walk around as one big disco ball. But no, no, no. But like, I'm going to be like full on like cat makeup and like... Uh, you know, doing the She's got tail. the down. She's been working on that. Uh, uh, yeah, you can do that. Will you hold like Rubbing a her dish with mouth people. Blood? I'll get like you that? a straw. I'll get you a straw. <laughs> Does that work? Cats don't drink from a fucking straw. <laughs> you glitter cat <laughs> will no, need it. Can it be glittery? Then maybe it'll work. Look, okay. Yeah, yeah, but then later on they'll come out and you have glitter we'll get in your you throat. A mirrored cup. A mirror. Yeah. Oh, I like it. There you go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Glitter won't be the worst thing that's been in your throat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well. Glitter. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Right. You need some okay. scope to gargle a little bit. Slowly devolving. <laughs> devolving. I did have an interesting night last night. Um, as a matter of fact, um, I was telling the uh, Sierra over here that uh, I saw you give the nod when my, my L.A. friend showed up. Like, the nod that guys give, like the protective nod, it was like this. I got my eye on you and I'll whoop your ass. You know, from Chris, from about is, five feet away, I just you just gave her kind of the the quick. Like this, it was literally like this. She's like the yeah. So it's like the, so. Explain to me the guy nod. How does that work? Okay, so the guy nod is just basically a, a brief verification that his life can end, <laughs> but it's, he's okay for now. He's okay for now. So you know, right now it's just yeah, okay. All right. But if I say it from like two feet away, I'm getting ready to fuck you up. But if it's five feet away, it's but just if it's, like But if it's from a good distance and you give him, you know, the, you know, the good bro hug, you know. Okay. But you weren't at that level with him yet. So no, you know, no, no, no. So that's why I gave him a nice, good, he's got a good, firm handshake. So. Because it was duly noted, by the way, when we were leaving. He's like, yeah, I got, I got the man nod. So I, I, I was like, I'm going to have to ask Christopher what well, the... What for the, the fact mouth. that he recognizes it as another plus to his point list. Yeah. There will be less nodding in the future now. There will be no need for it. Because my whole thing was like looking at you. Don't be cock blocking me, Christopher. No, I would never, when have I ever done that? Well, <laughs> it's only happened once, and it was a valid excuse because the guy was a douche. <laughs> and it's the douche that we constantly refer to. Oh, yeah. that douche! Yeah. That douche! That douche. <laughs> yeah, he was just protecting you. He was. I have to sometimes. 
And he, um, an- another quick story here. Um, one night, Glitz had a little too much to drink. What? What night, night was that? Every night? <laughs> oh, yes. It was a couple of years it was, ago. It was, it was a hard one. Um, I probably was not very smart, and at the time I was having some back spasms, so I had taken some medication <laughs> and um, then went out. And uh, those are the best nights. <laughs> and was downing some shots, and you know, all I remember is him putting me in the front seat of my car and yelling at me on the way home. Do you know that they almost call the paramedics? And it was security? a very drunk bus situation. Wow. Apparently, I fell asleep on the couch in the lobby at the Alexis Park. Well, passed out. <laughs> So knowing, uh, people knowing, Chris is, you know, my brother, Chris, you want to take care of Tammy. And here I am crack. shooting a party, and I'm like, I got to do what? God damn so it. I, so I literally, your drunk like, friend. yes, exactly, literally, <laughs> throw her in the passenger seat of her car, <laughs> and then take her up two flights of stairs. Yeah, yeah, it works. yeah, yeah. So I wake up the next morning, Why and... don't we have all that on film is what I want to know. <laughs> Well, I know. Why have we got that on film? You know how hard that is you to get her upstairs with a camera in my hand? <laughs> I need a GoPro. I need a crew. Oh, yeah, you need a camera hey. in your hat. That would have been perfect. Yeah, I need a GoPro a on my head to yeah. get it all correctly. So I wake up the next morning to someone coming into my apartment. I hear someone, like, coming in, and, of course, I have no recollection really what had happened. So I'm like, someone's breaking my goddamn house. I wake up. I'm, like, half-dressed. Which is another thing we'll get into in a minute, because once I realize she's, I'm like, you, you got me naked. <laughs> what is this about? She has shoes on. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going. Okay, here, and then shoes off, and I gotta go. No, I my my shirt was changed. You had someone with you. I remember, but we won't go into that because. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, that one. So, we won't talk about that one. No, I let that. I hear that here, can you handle this? Go in there and just just give yeah. her this. So you're coming down the hall, and I don't realize it's you. And for some reason, I don't know why, I had a baseball bat in my bedroom. Uh, I don't in know. In case a stranger can walk in. No, down the it hallway. wasn't. It was a little role play. We'll just leave it at that. Whoa! And um, <laughs> role play with a baseball bat, and you've never told that story on the show yet. Take me out to the ball. Okay. Anyway. Um, so I grab this baseball bat, and I come like down the hall, and there's Chris again. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm just dropping your car off. I'm like almost beat the shit out of him with a baseball bat, so. And then I'm that's looking. What, that's the thanks I get for uh, yeah. taking your drunk ass home in the middle of the night. So, yeah. And then, you know, I'm thinking, I'm half dressed <laughs> here. Yeah, Did you it. get that's me naked? Cool. So they that's too small? Cool. Dubo. High five. <laughs> We're going to have Stubo on, and I'm going to oh, tell you guys a funny Dubo story about him sometime. So, Chris, uh, again, your website, where people can find you. It is cdivisions.com, C-D-A-V-I-S-I-O-N-S.com. And uh, we've been invited to the photo booth, and we can do appropriate things I if we have to. I photo b- Oh, and I have my Sin City Bounty bra on. Word. So I have to keep them covered since it is, you know. I didn't wear a pretty bra today. It's okay. Ah, it's Bra's a bra. Uh, no, We're in Vegas. <laughs> Should happen. Should happen. Ooh, cute bra. There you go. See? Three out of four ain't bad. Show your bra. Hey, talking about bras and, you know, matching, do you care as a guy if the, the girls bra and underwear match? I would appreciate it. Seriously? Yes. What? How long shows a lot of shows the show. I mean, not long enough. What but if she don't have any underwear on. Oh well, then. Yeah. Like me today. <laughs> that just that just shortens the duration of the. Four. Not. I never match because I'm like uh, you know guys don't even pay attention to that. So you're telling me they do? For a brief moment, yes. So, but it's not gonna stop you from put sticking it in. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Absolutely right. not. You're not gonna like put on the brakes and like what? I mean, if she, well, I, I mean, if, yeah, yeah well, I mean, come on, bra. you can't wear, you know, vertical and horizontal striped panties. That's just confusing. I mean, well, maybe. So it's just, you know. Would it stop the action? Like, er, no, but it would let me know of her fashion sense for the future. Oh. <laughs> What, wow! I guess you we're know, not going. I'm really careful about matching my panties and my bras. See? So now I, I always see thought why. it was bullshit. I, don't I did too. Shit. I thought that I'm the only one that cared that some guy didn't. Coordination. Ask that on coordination the show is key. Because I don't trust your judgment right now. Coordination is key. <laughs> You're too <Coordination>. sober. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been with someone who's had a vajazzled, a uh, vajazzled JJ? Um. Yes. What? And I don't know about this. And it's one of those things where you're just kind of like, remember when the case opened in Pulp Fiction and it was like gold? So it was kind of <laughs> like that. You, know, you just open it up and it was like, oh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 
And at that I point, I need a vajazzle vape. And, it, and right at now. that point, I'm like, wouldn't it be if a I got my hot vajazzle glue gun? You want me to vajazzle your JJ with my hot glue gun? Glitz for the show. I'm willing to put hot glue on your JJ. Hold on, I'm getting a look right now from here because I spilled. She spilled water. I want you to know she steamed all of these things this morning. I know. Well, I guess I'm what you're doing trouble. for the rest of the afternoon. Okay, so, so yeah, I need to get a. a I told you I'll do it with my glue gun. No, but it takes no, no, a minute no. because then you have to navigate what the hell you're going to do next. Oh, it's not right in. you got to, like, make you a plan. To, like, make a map. A, like a map. You have to have a, you a have plan to, have a to get around the vajay. You, you have to have a plan of attack. So is it on the outside or an inside? Or both? On the outside. On the outside. You don't want to put glue on in the inside of your face. Well, and then the other thing is you don't <laughs> okay, want to. And then the outside. other thing is you don't want to look like you've got your face scratched by a cat. Oh. Wait, now, are you talking about getting something pierced? No, oh, we're going to put hot glue on her. That's what I thought. And put the stones the on it. I got all kind of colored, beautiful I stones. I hot glue in my fupa. <laughs> you don't have Sorry. to use hot glue. They make specific bejazzling glue. I don't really know sure about Jen's got some over there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to yeah. talk to Jen here in a little bit. You demonstrated something first. Something vibrating was on you. I had uh, to walk no, away. No, it wasn't vibrating. It was some sort of a jack-off mechanism. Mm-hmm. Oh, Really? Will yeah. you demonstrate that for us? Um, <laughs> no, apparently, she likes my thick fingers. <laughs> oh, God, dear baby Jesus. <laughs> I can't even look at him now. Sorry. Don't touch me with your dirty <laughs> man hands. Look at those fingers. Uh, these? Oh, these? Oh, yeah, do you see that? Those are nice. Do you see that, Cliff? Thank you. Those oh, can get real up deep fingers. in there, too. Uh, Let me see. And they're long. For, so I mean. Oh, these are beautiful fingers right here. Oh, my God. You guys are creeping me out right now. Sorry. It's so fucking hard. You're creeping me out right now. Oh my god! I can't even look at him. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's alright. Oh, I was gonna ask you something else. Put on your sexy now, face and look. Do it. Do your sexy. I face. can't even do it. No. Oh, Christopher. <laughs> It's just wrong. That's what she whispers when she doesn't like who I'm talking to. No, just do that. Get away away from that bitch. (laughs) You know what? Just do this. Just go, fuck my bejazzled pussy. Ew! (laughs) (laughs) I like like ew. Oh, my God. (laughs) That's Sarah. I don't know it. Right. So, to be fair, um, I think I probably caught... Clock. I block Christopher more than he does me because way more. I know these bitches are crazy, <laughs> and I'll be like He's stage five trying to take him home to mama. Stage five trying to take him home to little Chris. Wait, uh, now I missed the first part of this interview. Is this boy single? Yes. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were. T- wait, I was telling the story how you that guys are all- the fastest I've seen that bitch move. <laughs> <over>. <laughs> Right? I look at him. He's like, oh, he's looking at me for like, <laughs> what do I do here? Wait, do, wait, do I do wait, it? Do which I do way? It? Which, which way? way? Which way? Um, you missed uh, when we first started talking to him. I was telling him the story how when we were at your house, and you guys are like, who is this handsome man on your Facebook page? Oh. Why aren't you banging him? And I'm like, that's my husband. So I'll just put him on my Facebook page. <laughs> I will tell you. No I'm, I'm there. Big, I'm, I'm, a big, I'm a big flirt. That's that all. That sweet cheek. Um, what is it you say? Once you blow them, you will break them forever. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I ruin them. Once, once I give them a blowjob, I ruin them. I mean, Sounds like a challenge. It's, it's, it's the start of a problem. <laughs> start, start of a problem? Start of a problem. It's, <laughs> it's wow. trend. Yeah. It's trend. It's yeah. a trend. It's a trend. I love to be... Um, somebody's, this is going to sound crazy, I love to be the biggest woman that somebody's ever been with. So I love like to be that fat fantasy. Yeah. I do. I, you I feel just, like, yeah, I won this. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, there's a lot of guys that have this weight limit, and then, you know, they'll be they, like, mm, I want to try something a little bigger. I'm that try something. So I, I know that the, the I, I like that theory. But I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it. Um, <clears throat> your size preference. Um. Is there one? Is there not one? There really isn't one. And, and Good I man. Knew, I, I, Good I, I, man. I knew the answer to that, but I, I just had to ask it. So. Yeah. Is there is yeah. there a particular type that you like? I'm an Aquarian. We don't really have types. See, that's why I fit so well right here. We don't really have. And, and there's no one specific. There's no I one size. You just like females, and you just take exactly. each one for who they are. Exactly. That's good. That's perfect. 
That's yeah. very perfect. I'd like that. I, per- I prefer when a guy is just says, I just like females instead of, oh, I, I like a girl with big tits or I like a girl with big ass because then I feel that it's more like a, a fetish. Not that I have either, but um, <laughs> I feel like I will say at times thing. redheads get, get the push. Boy, you just <laughs> dug yourself in deeper, brother. Just saying. Just saying. Uh. You know, you're like a cat in heat. You see another cat and you just go insane. I will say, though, I'm oh, sorry, I just uh, I took it all. Um, <laughs> I will say it's that habit. <laughs> I, have, I do have this inner confliction because my favorite, and this is going to piss him off so bad, my favorite rapper in the whole wide world besides Jay-Z is Drake. And, like, I'm like, that's my baby daddy. Horrible. Okay, I don't know if y'all are familiar with Drake, but now no. you're going to have to fucking image of him right there. Yeah, no, he does look like him. Yeah. So we call him Drizzy from the Bay. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. Well, Drake's, uh, yeah, Drizzy from the Bay. So if you really want to piss him off if they're playing a Drake song in the club, ladies, just go up to him and be like, Drizzy from the Bay. Nine times out of ten, I'll already be like outside or like in the bathroom or something. When the I tried to get you to so dance like, to Drake with me last night, and you left and me standing there looking like an asshole. And, and, and I'll do that every time you try, try to get me to uh, <laughs> dance to a Drake song. Oh. So. That was too hard for him to do. Sorry, I can't do it. I can't do it. But it's funny hey. because we were just looking at images, and his dad and my dad look very similar. Oh, that's why. That's oh. And I was like, this is fucking ridiculous. I've never even been to Canada. <laughs> you never been oh, the you know junior high school. I did, didn't like the show when he was Jimmy. Sorry. You know the kid in the wheelchair. About no. Canadian men. We have a salute for Canadian men. Where's Stu? I want to see if that's awesome. true. What's that well, about? That's right. Stu is Canadian. It seems like any of us who have been with a Canadian man. He's got a tiny little they've penis. They've got tiny penises. I need my Canadian boys to represent my Buffalonians and my Canadians. You know, because well, Toronto's right there by Buffalo. You know, maybe we'll get Stu to... Uh, Stu to uh, Flip it out. You know, to... Make sure we don't this have is, that this impression. Is this going to be that ending moment from Boogie Nights? <laughs> yeah, that's so, so, pretty so, much. Is that what this is? Stu's going to be our own girl. In his white suit, and he's just going to just flip it out and walk out of the room. <laughs> Drops the mic. Boom. Yeah. And Show's over. Maybe that's how we should end tonight. Let's get him. Yeah. We'll get him. All right, Christopher, tell everybody one more time how to reach you, how to use your services. And uh, you can find me on Facebook. You can send me your digits. At, you oh, can, go ahead. <laughs> You can find me on Facebook. There's no digits there, but um, <laughs> I the website is cdivisions.com. Um, I travel, so you know, I'm everywhere. And, and and the Facebook would be Chris Davis. <laughs> it um it is C. Oh, the I just gave you a real one. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> all right, I can Out all be you. found everywhere. Out Thank you. Way to go, now yeah. give Glitz a cell phone number out. <laughs> <laughs> Make it even. Out of fairness. Yeah, Look at him. He doesn't fucking know it. Give her an address. I probably don't because it's speed dial. Exactly. All right. Five, five, five. <laughs> Thanks, Christopher. Thank you guys for having me on. I love you. You are listening to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City, the most downloaded show on Vegas All Net Radio. Yeet, yeet. You can find us today on SinCityBounty.com Live. We'll be right back.